visiting us from the Bay, uh, Jermaine Worley. So give him some love, everybody. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Cody. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you for sharing this platform with me. Um, something that I've learned is that we'll never be outstanding unless we stand out. And so I'm just challenging you guys today to use your platforms to speak out about social injustice and fight for people who don't look like you. So here's my, here's my poem. When I was in college, one of my friends asked me, are you taking any foreign classes this semester? Sarcastically, I responded, yes, I have one math class. <laughs> so as you can see, I've never really liked math, especially statistics. I've never really liked oppressive, I mean, mathematical systems. Why, you ask? Well, because it seems as though systems are always associated with power, and with power comes oppression, and you know the rest of that equation, so I'll let you continue to solve it. Mm. Growing up, my mom would say, son, you're not gonna be a statistic. I've never really understood what she meant until I almost became one in my adolescence. You see, at the age of 12, I was shooting hoops at my cousin's house. And in the middle, in, in the middle of a game we call 21, I see a police squad car pull up on the, on the three of us. When they got out of the car, my cousin asked, officer, is there a problem? What is this about? On a side note, I found it strange how, how, how these peace officers had their pieces out. He exclaimed, we asked the questions, boy. Now shut up and sit down. At this point, I was confused because the peace officers were nowhere to be found. Luckily, when they searched us, we didn't have any toy guns, Tamir Rice, loose cigarettes, air garner, or try to pull out identification, Philando Castile, or else like that black bullet we call a decimal, we would have been put in our place. Better said this way, black child, when detained, don't reach left or right or look up and down or else your black body will be placed six feet underground. There won't be any verbal warnings to stop what you are doing or you won't even be tased. If you wince or even flinch, every ounce of your body will be filled up with lead like the water in Flint, Michigan. Are we gonna be believers who fight for equality and justice or is it just us? The only thing we were guilty of that day was breathing in the wrong suburban community. Why does preserving the peace seem like it is only protecting against black and brown skin? Why is it that when a white man murders 17 innocent kids out of school, he is considered mentally ill and not a terrorist? Anyway, back to oppressive, I mean mathematical systems. You see, I've never really liked math, especially statistics. As you may have also assumed, fractions also always seem to have me puzzled. For example, according to the Bureau of Justice, one in three black men can expect to go to prison in their lifetime, compared to one in every six Latino males and one in every 17 males, white males. I never understood how people with high concentrations of melanin make up only 30% of the United States population, but they account for 60% of those in prison. You see, I don't know much about the Pythagorean theorem, but if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then how is it that you cannot see this system we call just just seems to be discriminatory to people who look like me? But mom, Tamir, Eric, and Philando, despite all of these statistics stacked against me, I want to do my best to make sure your stories are remembered and you will live through me. So last April, we became one of the 13% of African-American students to graduate from Simpson University. Mm. Now, how is that for your statistics? 